<sighs> so for those of you starting your journey, trying to get into a routine or trying to perfect that jump technique, twisting like this, it's because his hamstring is scared. Dunk vlog, baby. Yo, road to dunk camp. We have about four months. Hamstring still bummed, but I'm getting more range of motion, learning the stretches. I'm learning about a lot of different things. The hips are opening. We're getting there. We're believing in the process. It takes time. We can't force things. We can't rush things. But look, we're going to be trying to jump our highest on August 2nd at the dunk camp. I wanted to bring you guys along. You guys know the dunk journey. Some people don't get it. But listen, I'm trying to go next level. The only reason why it's taking so long to get back to jumping and dunking is because I'm trying to go next level. I'm not trying to get back to where I was and just jump there and be capped out. I'm trying to be maxed out, meaning no limits, no ceilings. They call me no ceiling Selly for a reason. No one calls me that, but I do. So listen, this is what it's about. I'm going to push myself. We're going to take you along the journey and I'm going to hopefully, not hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to show you what it takes to get to the higher level. The last recorded vert was a couple years ago, 42.5. And then after that, hit my head on the rim and <laughs> Hit my head on the backboard, which I believe is 43 inches. So I really think the max vert I've ever had is about 43 inches conservatively. So I'm trying to go for that 44 and ultimately a 50, but a 45, 46 would be a dream level that I really want to get to. And more importantly, I want that 43, 44 to be solid. Before it was running max vertical off a lob and just going for one dunk. I want to be able to have a legit 44 and taking off properly and dunking off the dribble easily because I shouldn't be able to, I don't want there to be such a big disparity between my lob dunks and my just regular drop step takeoff with the ball in my hand. I want to be like T-dub, okay? And also, I forced myself to jump so much off my quads, that's why they got giant, which is not a bad thing, but I'm just jumping so much off quads, no balance. I'm not using these booty muscles, baby. I'm not using the power. So I'm accessing that now, building the mind-body connection into these glutes, so that way I can use that power because when you're taking a drop step, boom, that butt is exploding you. And that's what we're working on. That's what I'm excited for because just started jumping again. And when I go off for a drop step, it feels the same as my running. So when I get the access, to the posterior chain of my body and work on that. Then I add speed to it. I'm going to be jumping higher than ever. So got a lot of work done on my glutes, meaning I've strengthened them. I've really got much more power in them. And now I'm just training my body to use that power athletically. And I'm still healing this hamstring, building the range of motion, Woo! building the hips opening. You know what I'm talking about, like getting some yoga action. And the point for that is a full body health and tuneness. If I can access all the ranges of my body, I'm going to be maximizing my potential and I want the same for you. So let's just dunk enough talking. Do I talk too much? No. Let's see what we got today, boys. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So that right there, don't feel anything in the hamstring because I'm not really lengthening the penultimate yet. So just taking it easy, seeing what I can handle, but starting back into jumping and adding it into my workout routine, baby boy. Oh my God. Oof. Those will be dunks. That effortlessly dunks. Oofa. So you see how my foot is twisting like this? It's because his hamstring is scared. His hamstring doesn't want to be used and blocking it because right now pushing like that hurts. So I have to retrain that to not be hesitant off that block. I gotta stop my momentum. Ah, here it is, little left right action. <laughs> Same thing. Ah. So for those of you starting your journey, trying to get into routine or trying to perfect that jump technique, First of all, Instant Jump Tech program is about to drop, so stay tuned. Yo, my new program is actually out right now and it's 50% off these next two days. When you're seeing this video on Dunk Tip Tuesday, it's out now, 50% off Instant Jump Tech. Check my Instagram, check the link below, check the comments, go to ilbelite.com, you'll find it. Six week complete training system to master your technique 
two weeks of the plants, two weeks of your penultimate step, and two weeks of the full approach, connecting everything, plus 12 different jump hacks, pro dunker interviews, and a lot more bonus material. You'll get instant access. Go check it out now, master that technique, and back to my own dunk journey. Go start yours, let's go. But also, do this. This is what we work on in the program, but just a sneak peek is work on that one step, work on that perfect footwork, just work on those drop steps because you need to work on those connectors first before you start adding speed, more steps, and more complexity to your jump. Start with the smallest baby steps, perfect them so they come natural and you don't have to think about them and you're carving good patterns and building a foundation. <sighs> so even though I wanna run and I wanna go fly and go get the ball and go dunk it, I'm just gonna start with just one step jumps because I wanna really focus. But probably the best jump of the day, balance wise, footwork wise, it felt like I wasn't leaning, it felt like I was good Whew. and I just felt like I did what I need to do. I wanna throw the ball at my butt, but blah, blah, blah. My blood's pumping and I want to go attack it, have a dunk, do it, but I got to think what's best in the now. I'm doing that again from a different angle so you can see the footwork. Nice. Whew. And also I can feel my knee. It doesn't hurt, but I can feel so much tension on it that I haven't jumped like this in a while. So I got to be mindful of that and be gradual with it. I can't just overdo it today, cause overloading. I got to be gradual. Your boy's vert's probably about 36. I'm gonna be very conservative and say 36 minimum right now. That is fine. But if I wanna to get to that elite levels, everything matters. And I'd rather have a 41, 42 inch vert where I could do every ounce of it off a drop step pounding stuff than a 46 where I have it once a jump, once a dunk, and only have one type of trick dunk I can do. That's just me though. All right. Hey, and that might be dunk life for today. Look, feeling the best I've ever felt, sometimes the bigger the goal, the bigger the obstacle you have to overcome. So just remember that. This is why it's taking a long time. I'm excited to show you what's really possible. Let's, where's that one foot at? Okay. <laughs> Trying to get like Nick Briz out here. That kid's ridiculous. <laughs>